what's up so this is black girl welcome back to my channel so before i start please don't forget to like subscribe comment share again so uh cos tech girl so i'm gonna be sharing uh tech tips electronics gadgets my windows android and so sorry hindi ako nag iphone yan nag ipad so puro windows and android lang <laughs> Okay. So, ayan. Anyway, uh, yung ibang mga tips dito is, I think you can use them sa iPhone, iPad, sa Mac computer. You can try. Kasi hindi ako familiar sa mga software na yan. Sa mga hardware na yan. <laughs> so, we all know, uh, so before is... Uh, si Instagram is medyo stingy siya dyan. Ay, na mag, ay allow yung mga users niya, yung mga account owners niya na mag-upload to, to Instagram via PC or desktop. So, kailangan pa na lang mag-subscribe sa mga, sa mga scheduling apps like Hootsuite, Buffer, di ba? And then, that could get uh, really expensive. Especially kung hindi naman tayong public figure or influencer, di ba? Okay. So, ayun. So, uh... So, sa recent update na, when I just, and I recently logged in, sa Instagram website, is nakapag-upload ako ng pictures uh, by their website. Ayan. So, I'm so happy kasi, especially yung mga photographers, iba, or yung mga artists, which they do a lot of editing sa mga computers nila, is talagang cumbersome yung ano, palipat-lipat ng files from uh, kukunan yung photo using a smartphone nilipat sa PC, then nilipat ulit with the PC to the smartphone tsaka i-upload and then another thing is yung mga hashtag diba? kasi ako, copy-paste ako ng copy-paste ng hashtag, yung hirap kayo mag-type ng hashtag sa ano sa Instagram, talagang uh, talagang pinupuno ko ng hashtag para mataas na visibility, okay? So, ayun. So, kayo din, para tumaas na visibility na yung mga Instagram posts, Tag lagay nyo na maraming hashtag. Especially, uh, ang pinakamaraming most hashtags, most number of hashtags that you can use on any post is only up to 30. Pero, ang dami na talaga, no? You can make use of that. Ayan. Para ma-boost na visibility. Even without paying for uh, advertising. Yan na gusto ko Instagram, yung mga hashtag, di ba? So, unlike Facebook, so you really have to like, realize sa mga friends, di ba? So, Instagram, hashtag lang, makita na mga post nyo. Hi, heart na, like, comment, di ba? So, yan. Huwag na may mga mag-DM na. Hindi ka tulad na Facebook, di ba? Ewan ko sa algorithm na Facebook. Okay. So, yan. So, anyway... So, let me show you now. So, there are three methods. So, three methods para uh, mag-upload to uh, Instagram via PC or desktop or also Mac computer. So, I'm using yung Google Chrome browser which is the latest version. So, you have to update the latest version. I'm not sure if this works sa uh, older version ng Chrome. Maybe it's a uh, website ano siya, specific. So, ayan. Okay, so, papakita ko sa'yo later. And then, method number two. Okay, so, method number two, uh, you have to install yung, actually, it's optional. So, you can install your Instagram app uh, via the Microsoft Store or, or your App Store. So, I think, uh, App Store sa Mac. So, you can install yung Instagram app via the store of your um, computer manufacturer or kung Huawei yan, di ba? So, you can install it there. Kasi, uh, last time, I think, down yung system ni Instagram. Hindi ako nakapag-upload ng, uh, ng photos by their website. So, I tried uploading sa Instagram app nila. And then, it worked. So, it worked like magic. So, easy breezy. So, it worked like a clock. So, nakapag-upload ako. I think, uh, I guess it also depends on the build number and OS version of your windows yan. so maybe kung ayaw magtrabaho baka lang niya update yung windows os niya okay so yan <laughs> yung mga takot lang mag update is yung mga pirated version yan. okay 
<laughs> anyway, okay, so ayan. So, okay. <laughs> so ayan. So anyway, so let me show you now. Ay, teka lang. Uh, number three pala is... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wala kasi akong notes. So, this is all, just all in my head. So, I'm saying this impromptu. So, this is all in my head. So, number three na method is via Facebook Creator Studio. Ayan. So, which I'm going to show you. I think uh, there will be a part two of this video. So, that will be in part two. So, part uh, methods number one and two is... Uh, Sa, dito sa part 1 then part 2 is Facebook Creator Studio kasi it's an oh, entirely different thing okay so I want to make it different I think this video will be pretty long <laughs> okay so wait lang wait ng text okay so, <laughs> okay. So, sorry about that. Kasi may nag-text lang. So, anyway. Okay. So, nasa na ba tayo? So, part 3, Facebook. So, okay. so ayun. So, na-mention ko na mga 3 methods. 3, three, three methods. Okay. So, now, let me show you yung sa via the Instagram website. So this works on Google Chrome. If you don't have Google Chrome installed on your computer, you can install it. Or maybe if you have issues with Google Chrome, uh, maybe like a crash, uh, diba? It may bugs or may virus. Is I can just reinstall and install, reinstall. Or if it's still not working, you can use another browser. You can try Firefox or Safari or Edge. So, I haven't tried those browsers actually para magka-post Instagram, but you can try. So, the process is still the same. Okay? And, okay. And then, uh, for method number two, which is by the Instagram app sa Microsoft Store, is it only works Windows 8 through 11. So, <laughs> walang Microsoft Store sa Windows XP and 7. Umasa na kayo? Pero, ano, uh, I'd, I'm not sure kung ano, kung meron siyang third-party app na para mag-install ng mga Microsoft apps. But, uh, you can try to look Google search. Yeah. Okay. So, now, I'm gonna show you uh, yung sa web app nila. Okay? So, web app. Pwede sa web <laughs> Sa website. Ito na na sa talagang web app. Okay. So, now, let's open Google Chrome. Okay? So, let's open a new window. Okay, <laughs> diba bintana? Okay, kasi ano, pinata ko yung language na aking computer. Ayan. Ino ako Spanish. So, nag ko Spanish. Ayan. So, let's go to Instagram. Ayan. Okay. So there we have it. So we have the Instagram website to open. If it's your first time to open the Instagram website to your computer, you have to log in. Log in with your account, with your password. Of course, as you can see, naka log in na ako, diba? So ayan. So now, what we have to do is, uh, sa feed, sa, sa Instagram feed, is you have to look for the plus sign na nasa right upper right hand corner ni Instagram so itong plus sign na ito katabi ng DM and then this one, I don't know what this is so we have to click the plus sign there and then uh, select uh, from the computer ayan. so makita nyo, eh, this is Spanish so if you understand Spanish so naiintindihan na to pero kung hindi kayo nakakaintindi is ako na mag translate para sa inyo so upload photos to Instagram from the computer, select photos from the computer eh. and ok, so ayan, so select sinar so ordinador is um, computer so, hmm? okay. ok, 
Okay, so it airbuilt <laughs> There's lots of picture in there. Okay. Okay, so dito sa Instagram web app as you can also pick filters. Okay, so the only thing that you cannot do sa Instagram web app and then also sa kanyang uh, actually also sa kanyang uh, app from the Microsoft Store and also sa Facebook Creator Studio is uh, hindi kayo makakulod na stories but you can upload videos like reels, di ba? And uh, ito nga uh, photos and I I think you can also upload multiple photos yeah. Okay, and then makaka-add ka ng caption, ng location, ng alt text. Okay, so alt text is used by Google to identify yung mga yung ano to pag nag-Google search. So, ang nangyayamit ni Google yung mga ano niya, mga bot niya, yung mga atawag, mga robot niya na ano. So, kasi yung bawat search engine is may mga robot siya na nagko-crawl sa mga bawat website para, ano, ilagay na sa kanyang search engine. Okay. So, anyway, <laughs> so, nabasa-basa ko lang yun sa, ano, pag, uh, paggagawa ko ng website. And, okay. So, anyway, so now, uh, so, atong recorta, this is means crop, and then siguiente is next. Okay, so we're gonna pick next. We're gonna pick the next uh, dialog box. The next uh, box will be filters. Yeah. Okay. So filters. So we can pick this one. Pick the one that you like. So which one? I like. Okay. So we can pick the intensity here and uh, intensity there. I don't like this. So. Uh, I'm just gonna go with uh, this one. <laughs> Kasi, hindi ako mahilig sa filter talaga. <laughs> okay, I, I don't like filters. I'm not into filters. Okay, so kayo din, baka ano, mag-second thoughts kayo sa paggamit ng filter. Especially if you're addicted. So, <laughs> ayoko mag-lesson, pero yung, uh, there's some, uh, vanity associated with it like um what's this yung masyadong concerned sa ano narcissistic so so narcissistic disorder yeah okay <laughs> masyadong addict sa mga filter and then they want to look like just like the filter in real life okay and then ano pa ka dyan nag ano yun nagpapas nagpapapalastic surgery so that they can look like uh, their self uh, with the filter. <laughs> so, ang weird, diba? Pero may mga ganun tao, diba? Gusto nila yung kamukha-mukha nila yung picture nila na may filter. How weird is that? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, ang ayos-ayos na mukha, bakit pinapalitan? Okay. okay. So, yeah. So, we can uh, adjust that. And another thing is uh, with concerning safety and security, uh, which is uh, pwede na like in a filter and then you tend to delete yung mga original photos na walang filter <laughs> dahil you think pangat kayo dun. so there's some security associated with it what security is that? kasi uh, for example you go missing or ah uh, is, is, wag, na lang, wag naman sana so for example is, uh, your parents look for you your husband or anyone else or friends pag hinanap kayo tapos ang picture nyo na lang na meron is yung mga filter <laughs> tapos ang lawi lawi pa sa totoo yung itsura paano kayo mahanap ng polis diba <laughs> ay paano kayo hanapin ng polis hindi nyo nga kamukha yun sa picture okay diba so paano kayo mahanap goodbye Okay, sorry to say. Okay, so next, and okay, so there we have it. So now, uh, actually, wala ko hindi ko na paste yung mga hashtag ko, pero you can type dito yung mga hashtag, so mas madali mag type, diba? And then you can add a GPS. 
I suggest for your safety and security. <laughs> Safety and security, yes. For your safety and security, do not add a GPS. Especially if the photo was taken in a place that you frequent all the time. So, for example, work or uh, your local mall, your local shopping mall, local shopping center, or the market, uh, coffee shop. Kung saan man yan, na palat niyong pinupunta, I don't suggest na lagay ng GPS. Kasi, ah... Uh, the prowlers, uh, the ones prey, the predators, the pr uh, who prey on women, innocent young women. Pag alam nila yung place, as pupunta na yung lugar na yun, then, ah, uh, unang-una is, papanoodan nila yung activities mo, pa, subaybayan ka, and then, mamaya, hindi na alam, nakidap na pala kayo, di ba? So, I don't suggest that I like GPS. Never, never, ever post in real time. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't know why uh, this escapes so many girls. Diba? <laughs> Kaya, ang daming, ano, uh, natapahama ka yun. So, so, so sad to say, sana, sana merong ganitong lesson sa school, ano, diba? ni mga social media na ano safety internet security di ba so dapat tinuturo ito sa school hindi lang basta ano sex education lang di ba mga ganitong uh, safety protocol di ba at dapat takikinig yung bata hindi matigas ang ulo na okay so ayan and uh, accessibility is uh, so this is where you put the alt text so, alt text is not just used by Google by, uh, para ma-detect yung kung nasa picture para malagay sa kanyang search engine. So, it's also used by blind people para ma-detect kung anong nasa picture. Kasi mga blind people, they can't see what's in the picture. So, they only rely on text-to-speech programs. So, syempre, yung photo, hindi naman nababasa yan. So, uh, yung mga alt text na binabasa ng text-to-speech program nila para para malaman nung blind person the blind person na kung ano sa picture, di ba? Kasi hindi naman sa nakakita, they can see. So, uh, for example, you're making uh, textbooks, di ba? Or, uh, kahit ano man yan is the blind person can well know kung ano na sa picture. So, matutulungan nyo siya. Okay, so uh, ang alt text is useful din para sa mga website, uh, para makrol ni Google at ng ibang search engine yung ano uh, yung kono na sa website niyo, di ba? Okay, so para lumabas sa Google search results. Yeah. Okay, so that is accessibility. Okay, and then configuration avanzada so deactivate comments. Yeah, disable comments. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, I can also add emoji. So, yeah, so yung emoji, and oh, di ba? Namin na emoji, so you can search. Okay, so there. So, I'm not gonna publish this photo. So, may nakita ko lang sa inyo. So, now we go to step number two. Step two. Okay. So, step two. Okay, so this is mm -hmm. Okay, close natin Google Chrome. And then let's open yung uh, method 2 na tayo no, sa Instagram app. So method 2, so we can open the Instagram app. Okay, so this one I installed for the Microsoft Store. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, it's pretty much the same. So, the location is hindi nagbabago. So, you just click the plus sign under upper right hand corner. Katabi ng DM. Okay. And then, it go to, to the same process. So, for example. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, for example, ano, bagyan. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So, what I would also like to emphasize is, uh, kasi, ano, yung, ano, is, di ba yung mga 
Ano yung mga social media natin is especially kung nakapangalan sa atin yan is nakalink na yan forever hanggat hindi natin dinedelete yung data minsan mas kinadelete yung data is nasa mga search engine pa rin yan so for example uh, we're applying for work so our potential employer can just uh, make a google search about our name and then lalabas na yung for example, may mga in-upload tayo sa Instagram na may si photos, diba? Mga selective, mga sexy photos. Is lalabas na doon lahat. Okay? So, unless we're using uh, an alias or a pseudonym, pseudonym, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Pen name yan. So, ano, iba ang lalabas. Pero, kung nakalagay din doon sa mga alias natin or sa mga pen name natin, mga ano pa yung mga stage name natin yung uh, totoong mga natin is mahanap na nila yan okay so uh, be careful of whatever you post social media dahil nakatay up yan sa inyong pangalan so kung ano mga i-post nyo sa social media ninyo is uh, parang makasira yung na reputasyon okay? so ayan so, and also yung mga opinions yung mga politika, religious opinions opinions on religion so uh, uh, meron kasi mga taong sensitive dyan, for example me so although I also post yung mga political posts sa aking uh, Facebook is I avoid yung mga ano yung mga posts sa religion diba? kasi ano maraming tao ang hindi nag-agree dyan, so it's not they're not, those two topics are not very agreeable topics and, ah, uh, hindi din ako sa kaya sa mga nag-evangelize, sa mga proselytize, pro, mga proselytes niya. <laughs> Kasi, ano, kung ano mang iniisip ng tao niya na bago yun. And, uh, respect uh, others, other people's religion, other people's belief, di ba? Yeah. Kasi yung mga tao, hindi mo na mag-respeto niya. Kung anong uh, paniniwala nila ay eh, susuksok nila sa utak mo okay? so now uh, ang gagawin natin is uh, <laughs> click yung next okay so next next okay next so siguiente is next and now you can pick a filter like in the web app diba Pick uh, a filter, diba? So, like I said, I prefer yung walang filter. And uh, for the girls, so another tip is uh, guys don't like a lot of filters, diba? So, for example, you're trying to cast the eye of a guy, of a boy. So, don't try to use many filters in your photo. Kasi, ano, it comes out as fake and that you're trying too hard, ba? So, mas maganda natural lang. Okay. Yeah. So, don't try too hard. Ayan. <laughs> okay, trying hard, di ba? Kung kayo maganda, kung talagang gusto ka is, ah, uh, you don't have to try hard para magpaganda na magusang kayo at magusang kayo, no? Maski mukha pa kayo basaha, maski, maski mukha kayo haggard. <laughs> maski mabawin ni ganyo, no? Diba? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, siguiente, yan. So, now, uh, description, and then, so, it's the same. So, again, I'm not gonna post this photo. <laughs> Kasi, hindi ko siya gusto para i-post. I-edit ko pa siya. Okay. Ayan. So, maybe you've seen yung... Hindi ko pa yata... Na-upload ko na ba yung ano? Hindi ko pa yata na-upload yung uh, video ko on how to change yung background uh, using Canva. So, I'm gonna change this background. Ayan. Ayaw ko yung background. Eh. Gusto ko yung parang cafe or another or patio or garden a nice garden or parks papatang ko siya, hindi ko siya gusto ayan. okay, so ayan so now there we go so I'm gonna close this okay so cancel ah sorry, discard that so discard that
Okay, so now there we have it. So that's it, guys. And now, uh, <laughs> wait, lang kasi part two, guys. I'm gonna upload it soon. So that will be on how to upload uh, photos to Instagram via Facebook Creator Studio. And uh, there's a bonus is I'm gonna teach you how to schedule photos using uh, Facebook Creator Studio, diba? Okay, so again, I'm Tahirel. So, <laughs> and. Okay, so please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and so any comments, suggestions are welcome. Yeah. So, kundi ke kundi ako na ka reply, I apologize. So, very busy ako ayan. <laughs> and um, misa may na comment na ano, maaktida ako magsalita. So, ganito talaga ako magsalita. Okay. <laughs> Tatlo ako tatarawa sa call center yan. So, parati may nagtatanong kung nagtatrabaho ako sa call center kasi ganun daw magsalita, okay? So, kung gusto magtrabaho sa call center, dapat ganito din kayo magsalita, di ba? <laughs> okay, pati mag-English, di ba? Ayan. Okay, so, para gusto ang kayo. Ganyan siya. Hindi yung, ano, <laughs> wag yung, ano nyo, yung Visaya accent nyo. So, I, I, I don't have anything sa mga Visaya, pero wag yung, Okay naman yung, ano, yung may tono. Kasi tala may tono pag nag-apply ka sa call center. So, tips lang yun. <laughs> Tanggalin nyo yung tono nyo. Napapractice naman yan. Okay? So, ako yung, ah, uh, yung, ano daw? Yung way of, of speaking is pinractice ko yan. <laughs> so, ah, uh, especially na ang kinawa kong course is broadcasting. So, a uh, bachelor of arts in broadcasting. Pero, Uh, hindi ko siya natapos kasi I was busy with work. I was a working student. Ayan, sa PUP, Manila. So, I was a working student while I was in college studying broadcasting. And since ang daming mga, ano to, mga, mga, mga field work, diba? Yung mga immersion na yan, is hindi ko nagawa. Especially busy sa, ano, kasi sabay mo na editing, shooting, di ba? tapos pupunta kayo sa mga ano, mga far flung areas, magadapt ng kayo. so I, I didn't have time for that because I had work, di ba? so ayan, so <laughs> I wish that nina na na podcast, eh, pero it was a fun experience, yeah. so at least may credentials sa ko, <laughs> di ba? okay, so ayan, so at least I can say na broadcasting ako and ang plating kami sa broadcasting is <laughs> I've never heard anyone else na kumukuha ng broadcasting because hindi lahat ng schools is meron siya usually mascom, di ba? and pati yung nagmamascom is not many of them so most are taking up nursing, di ba? <laughs> and okay so, ayan Okay. Pero ang gusto ko talaga ng gawin is fine arts or maybe software engineering, di ba? Software engineering and then law, di ba? Ah, uh, magano ako, specialize sa cybersecurity. <laughs> ayan, okay. So, ayan, mga hacker, di ba? Mga ano to? Yeah, basta cybersecurity. So, gusto ko 'yan, may mga hijacking. <laughs> Actually, hindi hijacking yun, ha? So, yung mga security sa internet. And, kasi interested din ako dyan. Mga nag-hack. Maybe I want to work for an antivirus software company, di ba? So, yun ang dream ko. Mag-work sa Silicon Valley. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, ang dami kong gustong gawin sa buhay ko. Okay? Ayan. Hindi <laughs> ko alam ko nang unahin ko. Isa lang ang pwede na kunin, and then maybe a master's degree, di ba? <laughs> okay. So, maybe yung master's ko is in law na. Ayan. Uh, yung aking uh, ano to, post-grad is law. Ayan. And then, uh, mag-specialize ako cyber security. Pero lang mga babae sa cyber security, di ba? <laughs> di ba? Gusto ko ma, ano yun, ma-penetrate yung film na yun. <laughs> okay. So that's it, guys. So, medyo na pahaba ang conversation. <laughs> medyo na kwento lang ako sa buhay ko. Mga short, ano. Yeah. <laughs> sa mga short. Okay, mga short na mga anot na ko sa buhay ko. Yeah. 
Okay, so again, this is Deca Girl. I'm saying bye-bye for now. And... Okay, till next time.